Well, hello, hello. This is Rosa Rubio Giotta. How are you doing? RCG Creations. How's it going? We are canning, we are recanning canned chili. <laughs> this is Hubby and Ash, just the two of us, empty nesters. Ugh. It will take us forever to use this whole can. So to preserve it, we're going to recan it into a smaller portion for us. Okay. Make sure your table's clean, all your tools you're using are clean and sterilized, hands are clean, and all I'm doing is going to be scooping it out. Oh, see how clumpy it is? And it's going to slide right on it. I don't really think I need this uh, big old ladle. I think I'm going to be okay with my spoon. I opened it about an hour ago and it still hasn't gotten liquidy or nothing. Do we like chili for Frito Pies? Uh, we had um, beans. We like beans. This is the kind that has no beans, but we like beans. So I pressure can some pintos and black beans. And we, could, we just add a jar to the meal as we're cooking it. As we're Actually, we're not cooking it. We're heating it up. Because it's already cooked. And but that's a de great time saver when you're tired or you just don't feel like making a big meal. And this is also great to take, if you put it in the smaller jars, this is great to put uh, take for your lunch. Just open up the jar, put it in the bowl, heat it up, and you're good to go. You want to give yourself one inch headspace, which is that bottom ring right in there. And you definitely have to debubble. I got my debubbler there, but I'm not going to debubble. I, de I like to debubble at one time. That's just me. Some people like to debubble as they go. Uh, put their food in their jar, debubble, check their rims, clean their rims, add their lids, and uh, then take it into the canner. I just personally choose to do this way. And I do this pretty much with everything. Anything that I'm pressure canning, water bath canning, the same thing. I load up my jars. Number one, I want to make sure I have enough jars. I'm keeping track in my little book. I'm writing everything down in a little spiral notebook. And then I go to my computer and I type it up and I print it. And then I put it in a sheet protector. And I have a three ring binder that I'm keeping track of all my pressure canning and water bath canning recipes. And... Um, then from there, I know, and I'm keeping track of, like, this number 10 can, I'll write down how many pint jars it took to fill this number 10 can, or how many quarts it took to fill that one item. Like, if I'm doing a whole stock pot full of, uh, say, stew, uh, I will write down on there how many jars it took, so that way I'll know next time to make sure that I have clean and sterilized so many jars and so many rings and lids. And I'm just saving myself some time for the future. And clean up. <laughs> and I could take a little bit more. Because I do want to give myself at least a one inch head space. And then I am going to debubble. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and then I'll bring you back when I'm done out of the can. The canning process is the same. Okay, I have filled up all the jars. Two, four, two, four, six, I've got seven pint jars out of this one number 10 can. Okay, there's my little messy mess. Wash that after it goes in the pressure can. I've already wiped, I double checked the rims with my finger. Then I wiped them down with a white vinegar and a paper towel, squeezed out, and then wiped them all down to make sure there was no residue of anything on there. I'm going to get my re Harvest Guard reusable lids, put my little rubber on there, you lay it on, and then you put it on your jar. Let me move this out of the way so you can see. Center, center. Get your ring, put 
one finger down and tighten with the other one. The minute it starts to move is when you stop. Okay. Next jar. Oh, hot, hot, hot. <laughs> you think I learned it's hot. It's hot water. Center it. Add your ring. And you have to wait till it catches. Okay, sometimes it doesn't catch, especially if you get a ring that's got a little bit of rusties. This got a, just a tiny little bit of rusties, but sometimes that's enough for it to not get a good. I'm going to help start it. Whoop, that's not working either. And this happens. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to tighten, I'm going to loosen it up. Get it back in here. It's going to catch on the threads. Okay. I could You can feel when it's not closing because it's not caught, but not when it is now. So now I'm going to tighten it up. And when it starts spinning, I'm going to do the little blue one because I got my little blue ring. I have a blue metal button there somewhere. But I'm using Tatler's, I mean, uh, excuse me, I'm using my Harvest Guard reusable lids today. I want to use these all up. So, blue jar, blue ring, white lid. And that is it for that. So, I'll bring you back when all these are done and I'm taking them out of the pressure canner. Actually, I'll probably show you when I'm in the pressure canning, the pressure canning process. Okay, now you can see that's a solid, steady stream of steam. Let me move around so you can see the steam. Well, call me a liar. <laughs> it's still steaming, but it's not. See that? See how it's a full blast of steam? Okay, see there it is. So that's good. Okay, I'm set my weight at 10. We're in South Texas. Bear with me, I'm doing this one-handed. Okay, 10. So there's the 10. I hope you can see that. Put it on the weight. Ah, there's a little hole. There it is. And then this little steamer right here is where steam's going to come out whenever you have your weight on. Okay, so now we sit here until the weight comes up to 10 pounds of pressure, which is at 240. Once that happens, this is going to start to jiggle. When this starts to jiggle, that's when you start your processing time. So, we'll see you at the next phase. Okay, there are two, four, six, seven jars, pints of chili. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pints of yams that just came out of the pressure canner. Thank you so very much for watching. we we'll catch you in the next video. Don't forget to hit like and comment. We thank you. Bye-bye.